Hey y'all, so I'm here with a crunchy California roll. I haven't wanting sushi for a while now, so I came today. I got a couple because these were on sale for five bucks. So, Isaiah likes sushi, so I got him one. And then I have another one to take to work tomorrow. But I just got like the, I'll show y'all. So I got this one for work and it's just a California roll with the cream cheese. And my mouth is already watering, y'all. And then I also got Isaiah the Crunchy California Roll. My other kids don't like sushi, and um, Justice went back to his dad's house tonight, so. There's that. Um, so I was asking them, I'm like, when do y'all make the spring rolls? I think that's what they're called. Um, and they're like tomorrow. So I've got to come back here tomorrow and get a spring roll. I love their spring rolls. It has like this like peanut, like butter type sauce. It's amazing. Um, every time I come here, I look for them, but they never have them. So I always take my soy sauce and put it in here. And then I also got a Halloween cake for like six bucks. Um, Cause all of their Halloween stuff was on sale for like, or not all of their Halloween stuff, but there was a corner of like their Halloween, um, like cookies, cupcakes and stuff like that. It was all on sale for 50% off. So I got a little white cake. And somebody's tooting, tooting their horn. And so here's the cake that I got. And it's just like a white vanilla frosting cake. Just got that for us to eat. And then I also take the wasabi here. I gotta be careful because the last time I spilled this crap on me, I was like, oh my goodness. So I'll take this wasabi. I don't like the wasabi like on there by itself. I like it mixing my sauce, my soy sauce. So, how is everybody doing? I've not, y'all, I've made videos, but I've not uploaded them. I've just, I don't know, I've been in a mood here lately that I've just, I'm not really wanted to vlog or anything like that. Got a message. Vlog or do hauls and I do them and I'm like, I don't want to post that. So I'm not done any in a while. I need like I need to get on it. Like, hello. I know y'all miss me and I miss y'all. Cause I get messages all the time. Like I really miss I feel like when I vlog with you like you guys, I connect with you guys. Um so anyways, I'm sorry I've not put a lot of videos out. I've made them, but I've not posted them. Woo, that's hot. <clears throat> so first things first here, y'all. I never can use these little chopsticks that good, but we can make it happen, right? So here we are. Look at this. This is so good. Kroger sushi is like so good and fresh, always. Mmm. Mmm. Spicy and sweet. So this is just like the imitation crab meat. Cucumber and avocado rolled in seaweed and sushi rice topped with sesame seeds, um, eel sauce, spicy mayo sauce, and fried onions. I actually thought those were um, frost or those frosted corn or not frosted corn flakes, just regular corn flakes. I thought that's what those were, were but it's onions. 
Mm. This is totally hit the spot. So, I've been moved for the past two weeks now in a different area. And there's har like there's hardly nobody up there. Like it's very slow pace. And I'm like, man, Jesus is teaching me something through this. Patience or something. I mean, it's very slow pace. And it's like to even see society, you have to go to the other area, like where we clock in and clock out. So I go there sometimes at lunchtime and then like when we leave. But it's been a trying time. I go back next week to my, my regular area. Thank God. So that's been stressful. Um, our time to get changed back. But however, it's going to get set back again because the time change coming up. Um, is it this weekend, I think? I think I saw something about it this weekend. So... <clears throat> I'm, I really enjoy getting the sleep. Like, you'd be amazed the extra hour that would help you. So, instead of getting up at, like, about 3.15 in the morning, I get up around about 4.30. I've been pushing it. I get there on time regardless. But, yeah, I've been getting up at 4.30, and I have to be there by five, uh, 6. It gives me time to feed my animals and all that. So the extra hour of sleep has helped me tremendously. But you know, change is good sometimes. And we all got kind of like arranged for the past two weeks, like every one of our crew. So we've been like going around different areas, learning the areas and stuff. Got some ginger on here, y'all. Um. But change can be a good thing. So. If y'all notice why. Somebody had called me out on this the other day at work. They're like, you've ate all that food and, you, and, and you've not took one sip of your drink. The reason being, growing up, we couldn't. Me and my brother had to eat our food before we could take a drink because we would always get full. And my mom literally would make us not drink anything until we ate, which we were a little older. And it stuck with me. Mmm. Yeah. When I say this sushi is amazing, it's amazing. <clears throat> so I just want to share something with y'all. I'm going to go ahead and get a drink now. It's been like nine minutes. Um, so for the past two weekends, that's good. Stop Pepsi. When I go outside in the mornings, like on the weekends, I go out there and drink my coffee. Not all the time, but most of the time. And then if I'm like, you know, like talking to the cats or like going out there to feed my chickens or whatever and the cats. So I was sitting there and all the trees have turned beautifully, like in all of their colors, like orange, reds, like all different kind of colors. And it was quiet that morning, wasn't out at all. Um...
Mm. Delicious. But it's kind of quiet in the mornings on weekends. And the leaves started falling like the past two weeks, like really good. And so last weekend in particular, like the leaves were like coming down like really good and steady right there in front of where I was sitting on my back porch. And they would like come down in spurts. I like to evaluate things. I like to listen and look at things of nature. I see things that most people don't see. And I'm not going to lie. I have just been, I've just been kind of out of sorts here lately. Like, just like within myself. Just out of sorts. And generally during this time, when time starts changing, I get that way. Like, I, I do. Can't help it. Because I know what's coming. I know the holiday's coming. I miss my family. Y'all know the spiel. I'm not going to go into it because a lot of y'all, not all of you, but some of y'all are like, get over it. You know, they've been gone for a long time. You can't get over losing loved ones. Like, you learn how to deal with it, but you never get over it. And so I was just out there just looking at the leaves and I remember a song that my mama, my mom's mom used to sing. Um, what is that song called? Fallen Leaves or Scattered on the Ground. And then um, she would sing Sweet Air Prayer like all the time around me. Like at night time when I'd lay in the bed with her and stuff. But I sit out there. I need to take this spot. It's like saturated in soy sauce. Mmm. See, I have, like, so many videos that I could do. But at the time that, like, all this is going through my mind, I'm in deep thought. And I didn't feel like filming anything. Like, I wanted to. And then I started to. Cut it off. I do have snippets of the leaves falling down. So, I'm not going to add this into this video. My memories bad because I've not uploaded any, like I've, I've, I have filmed a bunch of videos that I've not uploaded yet and I probably won't because I'm just I wasn't feeling it like I wasn't feeling to film and I forced myself to film wasn't sleeping good during those times just like you know life but I, I was filming the leaves falling and I was drinking my coffee and I was just kind of like you know thinking of you know, just life and the past and all those things. And those leaves started falling and I could hear the wind blow and like the leaves would come down and, and then they'd hit the ground. You could hear it. And honey, the Lord started speaking to me, talking to me about how the earth speaks. And that was the Last weekend and the weekend before, that was what God spoke to me. And every time I'm out there, every time I see leaves falling, every time I see the seasons change, he speaks to me. But that day it was strong. That morning it was strong. And the Lord was telling me, like, the earth speaks to those that listen. You have to have the ear. You have to have the eye. You have to have the heart. You have to be open to the earth. And God's beauty. Like, I can be, like, I literally was driving down the road. Pulled over by the lake. Took a picture because you could see the beautiful trees with the colors. Leaves in the water. And the reflection. And that's just God's beauty that he's given us. Like, there's so much beauty out here. There's also so much hate and envy and strive. But God speaks to us through his beauty and his creation. And he started speaking to me about that. 
the earth speaks if we listen. And those leaves started falling and I'm like, you know, our seasons in life don't last forever. And I have been so, like the devil knows how to mess with you. Like I was doing so good. Like I was like way up here and it's life. Like I was up here thriving doing good like like doing good like mentally in my life just just everything and then that one little ounce of the enemy comes in and kind of like tries to flurl that away flur flur can't even say the word right that i'm looking for or diminish flourish yeah same thing <clears throat> and he did like he sees her weakness but like i was watching all that with the leaves falling and everything. And again, he was speaking to my spirit, you know, seasons change. Like we have, we have summer. Let's start off with spring. We have spring. Everything in the winter was kind of dead, but they like the bud of life was still there. Like it was just covered up by snow and the leaves and everything. But when it starts getting warmer, if there's snow there it starts melting springtime starts getting warmer and those buds start coming up and then they start blooming into beautiful flowers and then they start thriving into all of the greenery and the colors and everything and the lord's like you know earth speaks to us in our life if we listen and you know i was having a bad day that day and he was like talking to me like Seasons don't last forever. The seasons in our life with earth and seasons in our life in our everyday life of like, you know, just going through the motions and all this stuff and they don't last. Like we could be having a bad time. The bad times don't last. The good times don't last. There's seasons that there's ups, there's downs, there's twists and turns, there's all these things there's roadblocks there's everything but god don't change and and god tells each season what they're going to be and god knows what those seasons are and god's in each of those seasons and i'm thinking man and i could just every time the leaves would fall and hit the ground he was speaking this sounds crazy y'all might think i'm crazy but it ain't he was speaking to my spirit and I could feel the love of Jesus in my heart by just looking at those beautiful, colorful leaves that were once green and they changed into all these pretty colors. And then the cold weather came, the rain came, the wind started blowing, you know, like all during different spats of time and they start falling down and waving in the wind and, you know, making their little pretty things. And I had read a quote thinking that, you know, the leaves and like the dead leaves that are on the ground, people think that they don't have no value or everything and they're just dead. But when the wind blows, they make their beautiful like waves and stuff. And it was a quote like, that's how they praise Jesus. Like everything that has life praises the Lord, the trees, the flowers and all this stuff. And when those leaves started falling down, it was just like, y'all may think I'm crazy, <clears throat> but he was ministering to me those two weekends. And every time I see the leaves fall and like the pretty leaves, like he ministers to me. But, you know, let, the, let God's creation speak to you. Have an open eye to his beauty and all that because God's created that for us. And I do believe and I know by my experience that, you know, Jesus is in all that. And the, season, the seasons of our lives, they change and we can't stay stuck there. And that's my world's most falling out with myself. Like I tend to hang on to things I tend to live in the past. I tend to do all those things. But the older I get, the more I let that go. But that's just my heart and my personality. That's just who I am. But the older I get, God's dealing with all that. Um, 
but I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I wanted to share it when it first like connected to me. And I've always seen the beauty and everything, but that in particular time, th these two past weekends really spoke to me. Um, and I tried like I done film filmings of like the leaves falling, the birds chirping, the sun out the wind blowing and I started filming like talking but it just didn't sit right right with me like it wasn't I didn't feel like God wanted it out yet like what was on my mind and heart <clears throat> but all week this week it's been on my mind and it's just the Lord sends these captions to my heart and spirit and soul and all it is like this week is the earth speaks but that Hang on. But that has ministered to me. Going on two, almost three weeks now. But you know, like, I'm in a hurry. What I was getting at, like in the springtime, all those things starts blooming when it was cold. Summertime, it's warm. Everything's like beautiful. Everything's is flourishing out. The winter time, things start dying. Things start changing. But they don't really die. They they go into like a hibernation thing until spring. But even in the midst of that, even in the midst of like the dullness and all that when it snows you get a beautiful white layer of god's beauty and the quietness and you can hear the birds like it seems like when it snows everything is so quiet and peaceful you see like beautiful icicles hanging like it's just beautiful and then when spring comes rolling around all that stuff melts away everything starts have a new life and it's a process like everything's a process in life and we have got to learn to thrive in those seasons and thrive in those processes of, of life because nothing stays the same everything changes life changes we change i'm turning gray i've swapped this over this way yesterday i didn't and you could see the grays on my hair i'm like you know what i didn't part it right oh well we're gonna deal with it but anyways guys Hope everybody's doing well. That was just on my heart. I miss you guys. Pray for me. I'll be praying for y'all. Just remember, seasons don't last forever. There's a new day dawning. Things change. And we just have to hang on to hope. Because without hope, we have nothing. We have to have hope. And have faith that everything always works out okay. It may not be what we think it is at the moment. But the seasons change and it works out all together for God's good. For us. Like he knows what we need. And he sees the favor upon our life. And we just have to trust. And that's, I. sometimes I'm barely hanging on by a thread in life with things. And I just hang on and I'm, I'm. I'm trusting, and a lot of times, I'm going to hurry and get off of here, but I feel like that lady that had the issue of blood, and she's like, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, then I'll be made hold. Like, I feel like that lady a lot of times in life. If I can just touch it and grab hold of it and let him, like, heal my heart, because my heart's been broken. My heart's been shattered by life by losing people that I love so much. You know, losing my mom, my dad, my grandparents at a young age. And my heart has been very he heavy. And I'm just like, a lot of times, like, Lord, just sit with me. And like, if I can just touch you, the hem of your garment, you can like, you know, heal my heart. But I often feel like that a lot. And he does. He helps me daily. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. And I'm gracious for that. And 
you know, life's a struggle. Life is a beautiful journey, but it's hard at the same time. And I, I pray, Lord, you know, watch over my kids. Let them have a good, happy life and prosperous life and healthy life. And But life is beautiful. And earth speaks to us in so many beautiful ways. And he speaks through us in creation to soothe their heart and their soul and like I'm so thankful for that because he did that these two these two past weekends um so I thought I'd share it with you guys hope everybody's doing good I'm gonna get off of here I've got to get home and you know do all those good things and get ready for work tomorrow but I hope everybody's doing good and until next time guys I will talk to you guys later bye